everyone and welcome. This is Melissa with SockSwoosh.com and welcome to an update on Netflix. I wanted to do a video today on Netflix for, for some very special people and I, I really, I'm doing this for everyone. This is, I'm doing this video today for everyone in the planet, okay, who wants to make money in the market, basically. 6.15 on Netflix today. Look at this. It's almost there. 6.15 is the target on Netflix today. Dream target on Netflix today is 6.20. And I'm not even saying it's not going to get there. I'm not even saying that it can't get there. But 6.15 in Netflix today, it gapped up. This was a good bullish gap. You could have gone long. Netflix today is a day trade. And if you like Netflix, you could have already been in it as a swing trade or a core trade. And really, this is a core, core trade. I'm going to go over this Netflix. I'm going to start back from this year. And then I'm going to take it all the way back from the beginning. But I will tell you that this is one of the most amazing, spectacular calls that I have ever made to date of my life. It's this, the Facebook, the market, and I'll, I, I make a lot of good calls all the time. But this, I mean, to see that this would do this and to see it would do it this year, when I did the swing trade letter in January of this year, I, I, I am speechless. <laughs> And trust me, I am never speechless. January 21st, I did the swing trade letter for Netflix. If you took that trade, you were never down. Went to every target. Hit through the next target today, which was 600. Netflix dream target in the year of 2015 is 750. 725, 750, 7, 750. Netflix will reach 750 because the market's going to make a new high. And Netflix is almost there. I mean, this is outstanding. One of the strongest things in the market. The reason for the gap today was some kind of negligible reason. I don't even know. Some kind of news or whatever. It, did, it didn't even matter. This was going to go there and do it no matter what. And actually, when I saw this, I thought it just gapped up with the market. Okay? But then there was like a little bit of a reason. It, it, it really didn't even matter. Like, this was going. It was going to get to 600. And the other day, it got to 594 when I did this in the webinar. If you took 100 shares of this in the call I made in the swing trade on January 21st, you made 18 grand when it hit up at 594 in four months. And today, you'd be up even more if you held it. Here, it's going to hit right up on 615. Ay, 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 ay. This could even make it to 620 today, which would be the dream. 620, 625 is the dream target this today. 618. 618? If it blows over 615, it could get to 618 here before lunch. I'm not long this right now, but I'm, I, it was a, I made the call. I made the call. This number doesn't exist on the chart. This is not where here. And neither does 750, by the way. And I'm telling you, it will get there. And I have 100% conviction that it will get there. I'm incredibly good at predicting what a stock will do because of the way that I read and rate gaps. I know how to read price action and gaps and therefore it tells you what the stock is going to do because the gap and the price of something is telling you what the money is going to do, where the money is going to flow, whether the money will flow in of the stock or out of the stock. Money flows into a stock when you have buying, when you have institutional buying. Netflix is getting bought, so it's rallying and it's going higher. When you have institutional selling, you can short the stock and make money as a day trader to the downside on the selling action. And you also have institutions that short stocks too, which push the price down. But I read and predict what the stock is going to do before it does it so you can get in the trade and make money. Because you're not making money here if you're seeing this now and want to buy Netflix at 6.15. I mean, could you? Could you? Because it's going to go to 7.50, which I'm telling you, yes. But is it a good place to buy here today? Now, you could have bought this as a day trade. Don't get me wrong. But is this a good place to buy for a long-term trade in here today as a new, new, new buy? The answer is no, because you could be down in it at some point. But if you did the call I made, you were never down. And that's what I'm talking about as far as the perfection of what I do in the gaps. Because I would see that that's a gap you could buy in it to take it to the number without ever having been down in the trade. Do you have any idea how many people buy pullbacks to go long or short resistance to go short and end up being down in the trades that they're in overnight before they even go for them? When I call a trade here, it just hit. It just hit 6.15. Oh, my Atlanta. Oh, my gosh. There's no one that can trade like me. There's no one that can call stuff like me. Look at this. This will get to 7.50 this year. And the market's going to make a new high. And when that does, it's a push up to probably 6.50. 675. I mean, it's almost there. This is amazing. It's not even June. It's a great call. Oh my Lanta. Now I want to go all the way back here from the beginning. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I'm so I just I'm just the luckiest person on the planet. I mean, to be able to see this, to be able to see this in the price action, and I don't get any research reports. I don't I don't work for any of these institutions at all. I don't even I don't even read the earnings 
reports. I don't even know what they say. Everything that I do and my ability to be able to predict what a stock is going to do is based on my 26 point rating system. And that is how I know what a stock is going to do. And that's how I know where the money's going to flow in or out. And it was flowing to Netflix and I saw it. And I knew we'd get over the high even here on the day that this fell like a banshee in October of 2013. And oh, my lanta. Anyways, I predicted that Netflix would actually gap up and do a correction. This is a long time ago. This was January 2013, two years from the gap here where I did the swing trade. And I didn't have the swing trade letter before the end of 2014. I started it like November. Anyways, I predicted this would gap up. On the day of the gap up, there were people in the room that wanted to short this. I said, don't even touch it as a short. It's a long. The day of the gap, it made a tally thing and then pushed off like a crazy person after that never looked back and if you bought this here at 140 on my call to go long netflix as a day trader a swing trader a poor trade look how much money you're up here if you took a thousand shares of this at 140 you were never down and you're up six hundred fifteen thousand dollars as of today and you were never down in the trade i mean this is the beauty of what i know most people buy pullbacks to go long and stuff into support that is not the way that i trade and quite frankly, it isn't a professional way to trade because you will suffer through being down in the trade and most likely often before it goes. And I don't like to suffer. I like to be up and I like to make money and I like to be happy. Uh, but anyways, going back to this, I remember day traders screaming to short this, thinking it would fade. But how did I look at the chart? That was a corrective gap, meaning Netflix had been in a downtrend, had broken, fall, fell off a planet. 2011, 2012, it was in a downtrend. People tried to buy it in here, it didn't work. Fell, 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 fell. Didn't actually get down and break 50. It could have. It could have gotten down to 50 and broken. I think the low in here at one point was 52. I'd have to double check it. But anyways, I knew that this would gap up. But you went to the gap. It gapped, and as soon as it gapped up, it literally, as soon as it did, I said, oh, my Lanta, that's it, Netflix is along. It is now immediately back up in an uptrend, and you can, it's a corrective gap, and go long it, and if you went long this back in the beginning of 2013, you never look back. You're up, you're up so much money, it's just, it's craziness now, and this is why you have to learn how to trade. This is, this is exactly what I know how to do. Now, do you see something like this that does a correction every week? No, no. I mean, that's why this is like so amazing. Okay. But I just made an amazing call here this year that you could have done and you were never down in it. And it just went huge, huge, huge. This, these are the calls that can make you very, very rich and wealthy in the market, but you can't do them unless you know how to trade. You can't do them unless you understand gaps. You can't do them unless you know how to read targets and everything else. And I think that is, I got to give myself just a pat on the back and kudos and credit because I am so good at reading the energy of money and how it's acting that I can see that it's going to hit some of these numbers because some of these numbers are massive and they, they're not on the chart. 615 just got hit. I, I said it this morning, 615, it wasn't even there. It wasn't even there anywhere. But I'm telling you 750, it doesn't exist. It's not anywhere here. You, you, if you trade based on technical analysis and you want to look at previous price actions, 750 doesn't exist in Netflix. How do I know it's going to get there? Because I really, really have a great instinct and a knowledge base that has taught me how to read price action in gaps from trading gaps now for seven years of my life. This is also how I'm able to call the market that the market will make a new high and will continue higher, even though it's been tripping people up, having lots of red days, having plenty of gap downs, having series of lower highs and higher lows, and, and, and I'm still calling it higher and it, and it will do it. And, and with the market running over the high, whenever that happens, Netflix could go right up to 700, but honestly, 750. And I, I'm telling you right now, it's not without the realm of possibility. I, I'm not saying this year at all. This is not 2015. I'm not calling this target for 2015 at all. I'm just being clear. Netflix could at one point in its lifetime hit over 1,000 a share. I mean, that is what I'm talking about, people. I mean, that, you know, literally. It could, it could run almost 1,000 points from the day of the correction. And that's the power of the gap. I mean, the power of the gap that happened here, that's the power of it. And that's the power of actually playing with institutional money. And if you don't know how to do that, you cannot have any, any consistency or longevity in the market. And you can't ever have a massive trade like this if you don't know what you're doing. You just, you just won't. You, even if you took this trade, you would have got out too early. You wouldn't have had conviction. You would you, do you have any idea how much conviction you would have had to have to know to stay with this trade 
to get it up here or even to stay with it now up to 750. You're, you're dying to take it off now here. And it's going to run another more than 100 points. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and if you had 1,000 shares, it would be another 100 grand. Why wouldn't you want to just make it? And you're up. So, this chart never did anything wrong. It wasn't even doing anything wrong. And I just want to point out that this gap rated well. Per the 26-point rating system, this gap rated well as a long, as a day trade. It did not play out right as a long. So if you went long this this day, you took one loss. Big whoop. But it rated well and followed through because the gap rated well. This is why you have to have conviction in what you do with the trade. Day trading, you will take trades sometimes that don't work out right in the day. But in the long run, my rating system really tells you what something's going to do. And that's the thing. You take the one loss on the day trade if it doesn't work, which if you went long Netflix here, you did. And you could buy it as an overnight. And you could have done that too. But this could have worked as a long of the day. Actually, it never really set up as a long of the day. So there, I never went long this on this day. It didn't set up right. But I'm saying if you had done it as a long and didn't know how to take an entry, which I do, and didn't know that it wasn't setting up, and if you went long and you took the stop. But overall... Many, 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 many work as day trades when the gap system rates 20 points or more. And every once in a while, when you get one that doesn't as a day trade, they follow through for the longer term. And that's why you have to hold the conviction. Trading isn't gambling. It actually is like a mathematical, scientific thing that I have analyzed to the point of so much detail that even I am amazed when I call things as well as I have called it this. But it is not gambling. But I will tell you that the only way that you can consistently, with longevity, make money in the market is if you know what you're doing. And if you don't, then you just listen to me, take my class, be in the live trading room, subscribe to the Swing Trade Letter, and, and basically do every call that I say. There's your solution. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you don't see the things that I see... If you don't have the knowledge that I have, you still have to take the class to be in the live trading room, though. But, you know, you just take my calls and do it. Whew. 700. 700 could be seen in the summer in Netflix because the market's going to be very bullish this summer, which is very unusual, too. But it will be because we're going to get up over the high. And 750 this year for Netflix, and and someday, if, if if everything plays out the way that I see it in the bigger picture with the market carrying through higher into the rest of 2015 into 2016, Netflix at some point in its career could hit over 1,000, and that's almost double from where it's here now, and that's that's so crazy. It's so crazy, fantastic. It's I love it. I just love this stuff. I love it. 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 Okay. You can really make a lot of money in the market and get rich, but you have to know what you're doing. The thing is that most people don't, and they really don't care enough to learn. And, and when people say to me, how much is the class? I say $3,500. You want to learn how to trade the market, it's going to cost you $3,500 from me. And that's a sneeze because I just got done saying you could have made 18 grand if you took my swing trade with 100 shares as of January in four months. And that's umpteen times the price of my class. So the reality is that, you know, you got to learn what to do. This was such a nice call. It's it, it even went over 6.15, so it's, look. <sighs> yep. Well, I'm going to say 6.18. Dream target is 6.20, but I am going to say 6.18 here maybe for Netflix today. If the market holds and continues, market has to hold for that to happen. 6.20, dream. And you can use my system for options, but you would have, you know, you have to make sure it gets within the time period of what you're doing with the option. Some people did that in the last call. I don't trade options, but you could do that. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. Amazing call by me, Melissa Armo, in Netflix. Every time it's done it, I'm like in sync with the stock. We're like in love with each other. Great, great call here. It's fantastic. I, this is just fantastic. Just, you know, one of so many amazing, outstanding calls I've made. I'll continue to make amazing, outstanding calls as long as I... I'm out in the universe speaking with a voice. And even if I didn't, if I was sitting home alone, still trading by myself, and I, if I stop teaching, if I stop having a live trading room, if I stop doing videos on YouTube, I would sit here with my mouth on the floor amazed at what I know and feeling very grateful that I kept with my own conviction to believe in myself to be able to successfully trade the market. 
because there's literally no one that can trade gaps that exists on the planet like me or see things that aren't even there. And I really feel very blessed that I have a gift. Anyone that did my swing trade there, if they held it, which probably people didn't do because they didn't have the conviction, but if this is a crazy amount of money just for one trader to have in this trade, in this one call, and there'll be others. But this was just, I mean, I have to I, I have to talk more about this in the bullish gap class. The bullish gap class, here, the bullish gap class is actually, the bearish gap class is this weekend, 16th and 17th. Deadline is to sign up for it today. And the bullish gap class is May 28th and 29th. And if you want to learn how to read bullish gaps, then you can take my class at the end of this month. And quite frankly, you really need to know how what to go long in this market because, again, it is about quality, no matter what you're doing. And this is very evident here, the quality and the bullishness of Netflix. Of course, what good does it do you now if you didn't see it before it happened? you got to be able to see it before it happens. That's how you make money, which, which I did. I saw it. I mean, <gasps> you could go back and look at every Netflix video I ever did back for the last however many years. I, I don't remember the date of the video that I knew would go to 500. I might have even said 500 the day of the first gap. I, I'd have to go back and watch my video from 2013. It's like, I, I knew 500 was like, I knew 500 like for a long time. And then when I did the swing trade letter in January, I knew 750. This is like confirmation of the 100% conviction today. And no chance of failure for Netflix. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course for the bearish course this weekend, today's the deadline. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. If you want to sign up for the bullish Golden Gap class on May 28th and May 29th, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Target today in Netflix was 615 for the normal target. Next target, 618 is trying to get up there. Dream target at 620 for today. And the only way the mark of the Netflix sees over 620 today is if the market continues holds and actually flips from red to green, which it could, but that would have to happen between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock uh, Eastern time, which may or may not happen here today. All right? Have a great, great weekend, everyone. Learn how to get conviction in your trading. It's the only way to consistently make money in the market. When you have the knowledge, it gives you the conviction. Because I have a high level of knowledge in gaps and reading price action and reading money in the market, I have a huge amount of conviction. And that's how I'm able to make calls the way that I am, with such confidence. Okay? Great call by me, Melissa Armo, and Netflix. Have a great weekend, everyone.